It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 5th of April. I'm Michael Groff. A warm and dry start to the week. We'll see an increase in wind across portions of the state today. Elevated fire danger and maybe some blowing dust out over the open deserts. Slightly cooler temperatures tomorrow and Wednesday, but then we'll heat it up for the rest of the week. What about the weather for the weekend? And do we have any chance of rain anytime soon? All right, let's talk about it as we look at the almanac from yesterday. 98 degrees the afternoon high, and for the second straight day, we tied a record high. The morning low was 67, and that, by the way, was the second warmest Easter Sunday we've ever had here in Phoenix. The normal high up to 82, the normal low 57. And as we look outside right now, here just after 7 a.m., scattered clouds out there sitting at 66 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point at 26, relative humidity 22%. Wind from the east at 9 miles per hour, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures this morning, 49 is the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 52 in Goldfield, 59 at Gilbert. The rest of the metro sitting in the 60s and lower 70s. The upper air look shows an area of low pressure and upper trough across the Pacific Northwest that will swing through the northern Great Basin, passing to the north of Arizona. It will tighten the pressure gradient today, and that's going to be responsible for an increase in wind and just a few high clouds around, and really all that's going to do is elevate the fire danger and kick up some dust. Here's the watch warning map, and you can see those wind advisories across Southern California, parts of Arizona, red flag warnings through much of the southwest, and again, that is for elevated fire danger risk. The convective outlook for today, a slight risk of severe storms way up north across Minnesota, around Alexandria, St. Cloud, and Minneapolis, St. Paul, a marginal risk for the adjacent states. And the precipitation outlook, this is valid through next Monday morning from the WPC. No rain in the valley, nothing statewide, basically nothing region-wide. You have to go all the way up into sections of northern Utah and Colorado to find any meaningful precipitation. As we will stay dry, it is the dry season after all, so why not? We'll talk about everything in more detail as we take a look at modeling. Here we go. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our area of low pressure moving into Idaho. And so with troughing, trying to take over here across the west, we'll see the pressure gradient tightening. So down at the surface today, partly cloudy sky this morning, more sun by this afternoon. High temperatures should be in the mid-90s, still a warm day. Those south-southwesterly winds picking up 10 to 20 miles per hour, maybe an occasional higher gust. Certainly some stronger winds across northern Arizona and out over the open deserts of southeast California and southwest Arizona where you could run into some patchy blowing dust as well. And yes, those fire danger risks are elevated too. Tonight with mostly clear sky, those breezes should begin to die down by later in the evening. Overnight lows, upper 50s to middle 60s. And tomorrow, mostly sunny, not quite as warm. High temperatures, upper 80s to near 90. Same deal more or less on Wednesday, upper 80s, low 90s, the sky mostly sunny, but then high pressure builds in for the rest of the week with highs in the low to mid 90s on Thursday and Friday with a continuation of mostly clear sky. Now, over the weekend, there's some disagreement among the models here. We do start to see evidence of troughing developing over the Pacific Northwest. The depth of that troughing and how much it impacts our weather still remains to be seen. I do think high temperatures might start to fall off just a little bit as the flow turns more zonal here, and we could see a subtle increase in high clouds. High temperatures, upper 80s and low 90s, and just some afternoon breeziness. Here's a week from today. This is Monday, the 12th of April. Troughing to the north of the state. The height's coming down a bit, and again, breezy conditions, somewhat cooler. And then looking out 10 days, this is Wednesday, the 14th. Still have troughing around, and so temperatures would be pretty close to average if that verifies. And here's a look at rainfall for the Phoenix area over the next couple of weeks coming off of the European Ensemble. And as you would expect this time of year, no real meaningful prospects of precipitation. And temperatures off of the national blend of models, yeah, we're going to keep it pretty toasty. Highs around or north of 90 every single day. Overnight lows mainly in the 60s. Some of the cooler pockets might get down into the mid and upper 50s. And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so very much for watching. It is always appreciated. You guys be safe, stay cool out there, and have yourselves a wonderful Monday.